At the moment, one of the big trends in digital manufacturing is 3D printing. Uh, it's been in the, in the, uh, on the news quite a lot in the last few years, but actually it's been around for about two decades. Um, the reason that it's actually become so popular these days is because finally um, the industries that it applies to, whether that's aerospace or medical, have opened themselves up to the manufacturing technique, have validated the process and are now actually commercializing. There's a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes that most people aren't aware of. We actually have flying parts already in aerospace and we have 3D printed titanium orthopedic implants in human beings already. So the sectors that are raising this the most aggressively are aerospace and orthopedics. Um, there is actually some movement in the footwear industry as well for customization of footwear, especially in running shoes. Um, historically, I would say until a few years ago, Europe was in the lead. A lot of the manufacturing machines, so the 3D printers themselves are manufactured in Europe, as well as are the materials and the processes as well. But I would say that the US has taken um, quite a large leap in the last few years. Um, they've invested a lot. A lot of the clients, a lot of the pool is coming from US aerospace companies and orthopedic companies. Um, from fashion and apparel as well, there's a big US pool. But I think everyone sees that this is um, a very exciting technology. Um, if it is going to displace manufacturing from Asia, then Asia needs to uh, take a very serious look at this as well. So I think this technology will be most disruptive from a logistics point of view. Um, because if you imagine at the moment, you need to, if you want to manufacture a component that could be a consumer product, you'd have to first create the tooling, you'd have to um, hope that you sell hundreds of thousands of them, manufacture them in a low labor cost country and ship them across the world. This is going to change. So in 10 years from now, you only manufacture when the parts already been sold and you probably manufacture it locally. So people could actually build it in their own homes or maybe go to the local high street and pick up the parts.